Okay, I am hopping into a Legacy League with Bug Nick Fitz, and we will see how it goes. I've run this deck with very minor changes through probably six or seven leagues so far. It's performed pretty well. I have like a number of 4-1s. haven't been able to get a 5-0. I also have a, I have at least one 0-4, so, you know, it's not all wins. Um, but I guess that's just how magic is, you know. Sometimes you, sometimes you just never lose, and you feel like you're, you're on fire. And other times, well, you just keep getting unfavorable pairings or bad draws, and you know, well, that's how it is. Uh, you know, I definitely hopped into a league one time, and both of my first couple matches were cloud post, which is just absolutely terrible. All right, well, let's try this out. See if my opponent joins. Looking like not. That's okay. Oh, they finally did get in. Oh, I have played against this player before. Won the die roll, that's nice. I would like to play first. Um, this hand is okay. Um, it's got a couple vets. It can fetch a forest. It's got collector roof against unfair decks. It sort of needs to draw land in the next couple, in the first two turns, or they need to, needs to force action with veteran explorer, but I think that's okay. I'll keep this. It's nice to have a swamp because if you draw into like Cabal Therapy or Village Rights, that also, you know, you can play it. Um, all right, well, I'm going to just open with Veteran Explorer. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to fetch a basic here just to, just to be safe because I want to be able to play the second vet if I have to. I'm going to get snow covered um, in case I get into an ice fang codal. I don't know what this person was on last time I played against them. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I haven't played against them in a long time. Um, but they were on control. They're on Delver now. Uh, unclear what kind of Delver it is, but that's okay. That's a good draw for me. Um, I think I'm still gonna go for, I think I'm just gonna go for a second Veteran Explorer here. Collector Roof is just not that strong. Maybe, maybe actually I'll play the Collector Roof and hold back the Vet. There's no real rush here. Um, maybe I'll do that. It's probably a better play. Maybe I'll actually play the Collector Roof and then, um, Assuming it resolves, then I'll attack with Veteran Explorer. All right. All right. I mean, I'm not doing anything here. They're gonna brainstorm and go for it. That's fine with me. I'm not blocking. That's a pretty good draw. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll play that. I'm going to get the beats in, I think, first. And then I don't think there's any rush to play the second Veteran Explorer, so I might just Abrupt Decay um, right now. I don't see any reason not to. I think that's better than jamming Oko into days or something like that. And I'll just pass here, leaving the leaving the Misty up. Having Plague Engineer would be kind of nice if they play another Delver or something. 
but it sort of looks like they're they're looking for looking for some business. Um, they could still play like a land and an arcanist or something, which would be pretty good. Nope, still looking for business. All right, that's not bad. Um, I'm sort of half expecting something like a daze here. This could get me a scooze, which I don't. I don't know if I really want. I might just jam Oko, and they probably have some sort of counter magic, and that's okay. But let's keep the life total pressure up. Let's see if this resolves, or let's see rather if the uh, the misty, yeah, so I kind of figured that. That's fine. We'll just play another vet. So just regular old rug delver, still looking for business. Man, they've can tripped a lot. I kind of need something that kills a veteran explorer here. Cabal therapy would be nice, or um, village rights. Armagoyf, that's fine. Delver, that's fine too. All right, that's pretty good. Um, Wondering, you know, I might abrupt decay the Tarmogoyf and just get in for four. That puts a lot of life total pressure on him. Still, he's only at five. He's still got three cards. Could have something like Oko. Yeah, maybe I hold back. Maybe I hold back with the abrupt decay. Um, yeah, maybe that's the answer. Now let's just get in with Veteran Explorer and pass the turn. I can hold up the Abrupt Decay in case of anything, and the Tarmogoyf can't really attack. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to get some lands off the vet. Oh, there it is, Force of Will. Let's see if he attacks with the Tarmogoyf. No, I'm going to take this. I'm not going to Abrupt Decay it and see what, he, see what he's got. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe I will abrupt decay here, though. Okay, Prismatic Vista, that gives me something. Uh, let's see if this works. Let's see if I can get the island where he's got another stifle. Nope. All right, I can get the island here. Um, so I can go Plague Engineer and then beat down with both vets. Or I could just jam Oko. I know he's got Force of Will. Um, I think I might, I might go with the Plague Engineer here. Um, yeah, I think we'll just play Plague Engineer. I'm going to name Wizard here, which, yeah, okay, that's fine. Force of Will naming, or uh, pitching Spell Snare, that seems fine. I'm going to get in with the bet. Just keep the life total pressure up, works for me. See if he's got a stifle here. Yep. 
That's fine. Well, I am blocking. Let's see if you've got another stifle. Nope. All right. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. So I do have Uro, which would make me want to go like island, um, island forest. I think I'm going to go island and a second snow covered forest uh, for the reason of I want to get to three, three snow covered for, for um, uh, what do you call it? For ice fang. All right, well, let's play Oko and see what happens. Um, we're gonna tap like this. Let's see what he's got. Another force, that's fine. Um, let's see, do I wanna jam in another Green Sun, he's totally out of gas, so I guess I can attack in here. Take him to four. Um, and I think, I think I am gonna put up another blocker here rather than take five. So I'm gonna get another vet and pass the turn. And I'm going to block if he attacks. Yeah. Yep. And I'll go to seven lands. Yep. So my opponent is at four. He'll take two from the from the collector roof, unless he's got some business. What's for four mana in Delver? Oh, Hooting Mandrels, that's fine. Oh, let's see here. I can force a block with the Hooting Mandrels. He's totally out of gas here. So, I think, I think I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna play both things, I think is the real answer here. So let's play Oko first. Make a food. And then I will play the questing beast. And I see no reason not to force a trade here. Oh, I should have attacked with the collector roof there because he has to he has to block. That's a that's a punt. I would have taken him to two, which might actually be relevant. I hope I don't lose as a result of that. That would be that's just dumb. Oh well. So my opponent can they can bolt Oko and then attack him, or they can just beat down on Oko. Is he gonna go for me though? He's going for Oko. That's fine. Well, Oko takes it. Let's see what my opponent's got. Bolt. Yeah, that's fine. So that two damage is relevant here because my opponent would be dead. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, that is a pretty good draw. I think my opponent is about to enter the scoop phase here. Okay, so Rug Delver. Um, Rug Delver doesn't feel like an amazing matchup for this deck. I've actually had a little bit of trouble with, with Rug Delver, 
And this deck has sort of as many things as you'd hope to deal with that. You know, Ice Fangs frequently can become two for ones. Um, five removal spells. Plague Engineer is not great, but it's not terrible. I think on the draw, I'm probably not going to bring in back to basics. I don't think it's that good. I didn't see any Dreadhorde Arcanists. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, and Run of Foul is okay. I might bring in one. Um, just to just to sort of have another another way to deal with Delver. Back to Basics can win against Delver. It's sort of you know they don't run any basics at all. But I don't think it. I don't think I want it on the draw. You know, on the draw against Delver, you're just sort of trying to survive. Okay, what do I want here? So Collector Oof is totally dead, even though it did okay that game. Uh, it is a totally dead card in this matchup. Veteran Explorers are great. Cabal Therapies are great. Village Rights are okay. Um, my opponent will probably bring in one Veil. They'll probably bring in, like, Winter Orb, and they'll probably bring in um, something like... Uh, uh, what else? What's, uh, they bring in Graph Digger's Cage sometimes. All right, so I don't think there's anything. Maybe a Sylvan Library, because I, I can't really be aggressive with my life total. I'll probably cut one Sylvan. Um, cutting prime time isn't bad, but it, it's just really nice to have a top end threat, you know, and it just sort of outclasses both Tarmogoyf and Hooting Mandrels completely. I sort of like to have it. Eternal Witness is a little slow. Maybe that's the answer to take out. Eternal Witness is really slow, and they might bring in some graveyard hate. It's possible. Or a Green Sun Zenith might be the other answer. Yeah, maybe I'll cut a Green Sun. Um, nah, I'm going to cut the Eternal Witness. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Nah, I'm going to cut the green sun. All right, we'll do this. Okay. Uh, ooh. I do not like this hand at all. My opponent keeps seven. Now this hand just, you really need to draw something. If they stifle the fetch or something, you're just dead. Um, so I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. Uh, this hand is better. I will keep this. And I think I might just keep all the basics and not not keep the fetch. Yeah, I think that's the answer. We'll do that. Yep. Okay. Hope my opponent doesn't have a turn one Delver, because I think that's a little bit... That's probably the weakest point in this hand is them having a turn one Delver. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Cabal Therapy, obviously. Um, and I, I'm probably gonna name here, uh, probably Lightning Bolt, because that's the, that's probably like some sort of aggressive life total killing me that way. That's probably how I lose this game. And it, it is a four of. Nope. Two stifles. Wow. Delver, Tarmogoy, Fruiting Mandrels. All right. Wow. Submerge. Cool. Okay, well, I think I actually can green sun here because I don't think that they have, I don't think they have any basics to, to stifle here. Um, and they don't have anything else. So I'm going to just green sun and just, just shred their hand. Let's see, the, the Delver's gone. So I'll get a veteran explorer 
And I'm going to flash back therapy and hope they didn't somehow like board in a basic or something. So I'm going to hit stifle here. Um, and let's get forest and swamp because I might cast the other therapy this turn. Stifle. All right. And I think I think I'm gonna cabal therapy here again. And I probably wanna hit the probably wanna hit Tarmogoyf. I'm not too super worried about submerge yet. So I'm gonna go for Tarmogoyf. And I don't think that they will have, I guess they could, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so Tarmogoyf's gone. Stifles are gone. Tarmogoyf is gone. They have a spell pierce. That's pretty good. Um, can't spell pierce Oko here, but I don't think that's what I want. They could spell pierce a green sun zenith. Um, and they only have one hooting mandrels. Yeah, dude, they're they're putting a lot of pressure on me, and I don't really. I guess I could. Oh man, did I screw up here? I should have three snow covered, and I only have two. Man, I'm playing terribly. Sort of first time streaming while you do this. This this doesn't work very well. Okay, that's fun. Um, well, that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap like this. I'm gonna get another. Let's see what my opponent does here. I'm gonna just green sun for one. See if my opponent does a a spell spheres. They don't. So I'm gonna do that and I'll cabal therapy them again. Getting the last two. And I want to get the hooting mandrels here. Got it. And I'm just going to play out the Oko, even though he might die. Um, they can just kill him, but I think that's I think that's okay. Um, and I'm gonna let's see here. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just going to create a food, force him to use both, and I can gain life if I have to. I'm going to pass turn. Oh, and I, I know my opponent has a spell pierce there. Both swinging at Oko, so he saved me six life. Storm for my opponent. That's okay. So my opponent's got Spell Pierce and Submerge. Spell Pierce might be gone now. Maybe not. I'm sure they kept the Submerge. Card's great. Graph Digger's Cage is fine. That sucks. I can't even fetch out a, uh, a Dryad Arbor. I think I'm going to just gain the life here. Well, there's the Eternal Witness, which isn't super helpful, but I guess it's something. 
top like that. And I think I just get Oko here. Veteran Explorer doesn't do a lot for me right now. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna elk. Actually, no, I guess I have to make a food here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just create a food. I think I'm, I think I'm in big trouble here, though. Let's see what my opponent does. Oh, still swinging at Oko. That's fine. You can die, Oko. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pass here. Actually, maybe I'll fetch and crack the food. I think that's gonna be my plan. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, he could have any of those. Um, I don't think Primeval Titan, Primeval Titan might actually race them with Questing Beast. They can't daze it, but they can force it. Uh, they can submerge, I guess. Submerge is pretty good. They might submerge here, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna get Field of the Dead, and I can't get Dryad Arbor, so I'm gonna get, I guess I'll get a Phyrexian Tower. And I'm gonna just pass. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Submerge is gone. That's big trouble. No cards in hand for my opponent. That is a pretty good draw. I like that. Um, I like that. I think, yeah, I guess my opponent can't do that. So I'm gonna just play this out and attack for eight. Play this out. And I think I want to play this now because I might draw something relevant. That's something. Um, do I want to go to three? No, because I tapped like an idiot. Boy, I'm playing so bad lately. Um, I think that's okay. So if my opponent shows an instant here, I'm just dead. Yeah, okay, that's game. Because yeah, there's nothing I can do. Nothing, nothing that I could have done there. All right. Rainstorm, sure, okay, that's fine. All right, on the play, things are a little different. Back to basics becomes decent. Um, and I wonder if I want the second run afoul. I don't really have run afoul in here for Delver. Um, but I don't hate it. It's probably better than, I mean, 
Marin's pretty good in this matchup if she survives. Tireless Tracker is probably too slow. Maybe I'll cut Tireless Tracker for Run of Foul. Do I want back to basics though? That's the question. I think everything here is locked in. Everything here is locked in. Everything here is locked in. Maybe not the Sylvan Library. Yeah, maybe I'll just cut Sylvan Library and Eternal Witness for just two back to basics, because back to basics just wins the game. I'll just do that. I think this is good. Yeah, let's do it. Still haven't seen any Dreadhorde Arcanus. I wonder if my opponent's just running two and just hasn't seen them or something. Um, this hand is risky. This hand is very risky. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna mulligan this. I don't want to keep a one-hander against Delver and just get blown out. I'm gonna mulligan. This is better. I'll, I'll keep this, even though I'm not super happy about it. And I don't even really want to bottom the Dryad Arbor. I'll probably bottom the Prime Time here. I'm gonna keep this. Could bottom the village rights, but I don't think I want to do that either. I think I'm going to bottom the prime time. And I'm going to open with carpet um, and just hope it resolves here. They might force it, and that's okay. Don't have a lot after that, but I have a couple turns to draw something. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna, okay. Well, I'm gonna play Dryad Arbor because I don't have any other lands. He's gonna bolt the Dryad Arbor, that's fine. Sort of wish that was a Bayou, don't I? Would have village rights the Dryad Arbor. Hmm. Mana base is great. Land. Oko. Okay, I just need a like a swamp or something. I'll take that. That's okay. Let's see what he's got. That's fine. Got to get those out anyway. Although now this Oko didn't answer him right away, so I'm kind of in trouble. I hate Oko, but he's sort of a he's sort of an interesting place in the format. He really like dominates the fair like fair matchups, you know. Like he's a three mana creature that or a three mana planeswalker that sort of just he does so much. All right. Well, let's see if they've got a stifle for this. Yep, there it is. They knew what their what their win con was in this game. Just keep me from keep me from playing my game. It looks like they're gonna get there. No carpet, no vet, stifle. Yep, that's pretty good. Make land drops, get there. 
Well, that's something. Doesn't do a lot. I guess it keeps me alive one turn. Not even. And they have lethal on board, so that's game. Well, that's unfortunate. That sucks. Oh well. Uh, well, that's that's game one.